I had a nice walk over the, the runway to find my hotel and then I've, so I'm not seeing a great lot but I was like massively looking up on Wikipedia about Gibraltar before I come out because I wanted to know know about it basically so um, yeah I'm gutted I'm not staying for longer to be honest because it seems there's loads of like really interesting things here which I, w I would really like to see so maybe like I'll, I'll have to come in the future and, and stay for a couple of days and yeah I mean obviously I was really pleased to be asked to come, come out here I'm really looking forward to it it's nice to go to a different place and obviously um, I've never been to Gibraltar before so it's another uh, another box ticked. So what can we expect tonight at Casemates? Hopefully, hopefully I'll be singing all right. Um, <laughs> yeah, tonight I think I think what I tend to do, especially like for crowds, um, this sort of like um, festival-y type sort of thing, I think I think it's important to play songs, you know, that, that people know. So I don't expect that every Gibraltarian has my album recovered. So I'll probably do like one song off that. I might do All Your Good Friends, which was my winning single off The Voice. Then I'll do some of my acoustic cover type tracks. So maybe like Chandelier um, and a few of the other ones that I've done. And then and then I'll sort of liven it up with a bit of like Motown and covers and maybe a bit of like The Killers and things like that. So just stuff that people will definitely know and can have a good time sort of listening to and maybe having a dance to as well. Cast your mind back, you know, it's been two years since uh, you've won The Voice. Uh, what all has happened then? You've released music. How did that experience sort of change your career? I think like, you know, probably most people that have won The Voice so far, you know, it's not it's not like the platform that the X Factor maybe gives you, something like that. So um, I wouldn't say it's, it has sort of been life changing, but not like stratospheric, like life changing or anything. But it sort of did, it did all the things that I wanted it to do. I mean, it was an amazing experience. And I didn't, I didn't expect to, to win, to win it. You know what I mean? So I would have been happy at the time when I got the four turns. I sort of, I thought like I've sort of accomplished what I sort of set out to do really, which was just to get a bit of profile, just to. Um, I guess prove to people that I could sing because obviously coming from like a pop band a lot of people are always like you know well they can't sing or whatever so I wanted to sort of prove that I wasn't just a really bad backing dancer in Liberty X. <laughs> you certainly weren't that and I can't speak to you today without bringing up uh, Liberty X the pop group that you were a part of for about uh, five or six years. Uh, cast your mind back to that time the release of uh, Just a Little that propelled uh, you guys and uh, all the success that came with that you actually overtook the original winners of uh, Pop Stars and became a huge success yourself so what was that time period like? I've always looked on it as like a job you know rather than this amazing like fantasy land you know being a pop star because it's not mm. you know it is it's hard work and it's you know there's ups and downs so I think like before just a little before we brought that out we I think we had like a number five with our first track thinking it over and then the second one doing it I think that went to like number 12 or 14 so at that point it was like we were on the verge of maybe getting dropped do you know what I mean so we'd sort of already had a few like ups and downs plus we got sued for our name and had to be called Liberty X um, because there was another band called Liberty. So it was like, it was a bit of a funny time because it was, it was almost like our career was going to be over before it had even started. And then obviously just a little came out and just and made, you know, sort of made our careers really, I guess. But um, yeah, I mean, it was great, like obviously sharing all that time with like, you know, four sort of really good friends, you know, who, who are still really good friends to this day. So it was, it was a ride, do you know what I mean? But looking back now, it's, it's almost like it didn't happen, do you know what I mean? There's been so much time gone by and some of the things we did and stuff, you just think, do we like really do that? You know, it's, it's really, it's quite surreal to look back on, but, but definitely like fond memories.